it is a remarkable turnaround from where the season began, where he basically lost his starting job and was in a platoon at best. He just busted his way into back into the starting lineup. Showed a lot of resolve, a lot of determination, and when you look inside the numbers, he's not striking out as much. He's not chasing as many pitches out of the zone, and when he gets a strike in the zone, he is doing damage. Bob, that graphic that we showed, that recent streak, that slash line of average on base percentage and slugging, at the bottom of that graphic, it pointed out that he hasn't had these kind of numbers in four years, almost four years. So you're talking about Gary Sanchez reestablishing himself and giving the Yankees a formidable hitter again in their lineup. You know, it's one of those things. I thought Meredith made a good point that Aaron said today, Judge, that uh, a reminder how rare offensive catchers are. And when you have one, all of a sudden he's doing this. And the challenge it, it, there is to catch, put down fingers, and hit. But, you know, he looks just, he just looks light in the batter's box. I don't know how to describe it. The game has slowed down for him a little bit. He's not rushing anything. And I used to tell hitters when they got it going, hey, write down not what you're doing, but what you're feeling. What are you feeling on, in, the, in the dugout before you hit on the on deck circle where you're in the dugout? When you're in the batter's box, what are you feeling? How does it feel? And that's what you try to get is that feel back. And I guarantee you one of those feelings is I'm not rushing to anything. Yeah, you can see the home run swing certainly echo that. Now, earlier today, Miguel Andujar talked about Sanchez when he chatted with Meredith on the field for interpreter Marlon Abreu. It's not a surprise uh, for me. I, I've seen... I seen what he can do, you know, and and to see him uh, wake up at the right time, I feel so proud, uh, so happy for him uh, to be able to contribute the way he has, not only uh, for himself but for the team, you know, uh, and and that's the quality of a of a, a bat uh, of a of a hitter uh, that he brings to the team. So you know, very uh, it's, it's it's cool to see. Now you two have known each other in the DR since you were 11, 12 years old. What's your first memory of seeing Gary Sanchez in that batting cage? <laughs> Oh, de verdad que yo lo veía cuando él tenía 14, 15 años y yo lo veía sacando la bola por todos lados y decía, oh my God, tenía un power. O sea, y también el juego, que fue una cosa que eso era lo que más impresiona, me impresionaba a mí cuando yo era eh, niño y luego después que practicamos el mismo programa y nos filmaron, o sea, en el mismo programa ahí, eh, para mí es un orgullo y estar aquí con él ahora. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, I, I've seen Gary for... Um, I remember seeing him when he was 14, 15, uh, and he was hitting the ball out of the park. You know, it was it was impressive to see. I was younger, and I remember just watching uh, this guy hit the ball out of the park with such power. You know, um, we had the opportunity to come up through the same program. Uh, he signed, and then later on, I signed. So yeah, you know, um, uh, it's a blessing uh, uh, to know him for so long, and then. To be here, be in the same team, and you know, um, have this opportunity together—it's it's great.